Assalamu alaikum and hello guys. Welcome back to Explore Chemistry and this is Maraj Kamran. Today I am going to take your test related to the topic acids, bases and salts. In my previous videos I have taught you this topic so let's see how much you have learned. This will be MCQ based test so please take this test to reveal your understanding for this topic. So let's start. Question number one of the test is Metallic oxides are dash in nature, but non-metallic oxides are dash in na nature. Means you have to fill these blanks. So let's see what are the options. Option A is neutral and acidic. Option B is acidic and basic. Option C is basic and neutral. Option D is basic and acidic. There is no time limit so you can take your time to solve this NCQ or you can pause the screen to give the answer. Now let's see what will be the correct answer of this question. Option number 3 basic and acidic means metallic oxides are basic in nature and non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Let's do the next question. Question number 2 is, which 0.1 molar solutions will turn phenophthalene pink? And options are, option A, HBr, hydrogen bromide. Option B is CO2, carbon dioxide. Option C is LiOH, lithium hydroxide. And option D is CH3, COOH, acetic acid. Here also you can take your time to answer this question. If you have answered the question, so let's see what is the correct answer. Option C is the correct answer, lithium hydroxide. Because lithium hydroxide is the only base among these substances. And phenophthalene turn pink color in bases or alkalis. Let's do the next question. Question number 3 is, the following data were collected at the end point of a titration performed to find the molarity of a HCl hydrochloric acid solution. Volume of acid is 14.4 ml, volume of base is 22.4 ml, molarity of a standard sodium hydroxide base is 0 0.20 m. What is the molarity of acid? Here you need to do some calculation. Option A is 1.6 M, Option B is 0.64 M, Option C is 0.31 M, Option D is 0.13 M. So this is titration numerical. Take your time to solve this numerical and choose the correct answer. Now I'll tell you the correct answer of the question. The an correct answer is Option C 0.31 M. Very good if you have found the same answer. Let's do the next question. Question number 4 is when a drop of unknown solution X is placed on a strip of pH paper, a deep red color is produced. This shows solution X is and options are option A, NaOH, sodium hydroxide. Option B is HCl, hydrochloric acid. Option C is H2O, water. And option D is C2H5COOH, propionic acid. Now your time starts. Now you can take your time to answer this question. So the, the correct answer of the question is option B, HCl. Because deep red colors appear in case of strong acids only and over here HCl is the strong acid whereas C2H5COOH is a weak acid. Next question, question number 5 is human saliva after meal is dash in nature and options are A. Acidic, B. Basic, C. Salty and D. Alkaline. This will be very easy if you know the pH value of human saliva. So the answer is A. Acidic. 
Next question number 6 is the pH of an aqueous solution of hydrochloric acid is 2. What will be the pH of the acid after the addition of 10 gram of sodium chloride? And options are option A 1, option B 7, option C 2, option D 9. If you have chosen the correct answer, let's see. Option, correct answer is option C, 2. Because sodium chloride is neutral substance. So after the addition of sodium chloride, there will be no change in concentration of hydro, uh, H positive ions. So pH value remains same because pH is dependent on concentration of hydrogen ion only. Next question is, question number 7. The hydronium ion is... And options are option A formed by the removal of hydrogen ion from H2 molecule. Option B is formed by the removal of hydroxide ion from H2 molecule. Option C is protonated water molecule and option D is isotope of the hydrogen. If you have knowledge about hydronium ion you can easily choose the correct option. And the correct option is C protonated water molecule. Let's do the next question number 8. In the neutralization reaction of a nitric acid HNO3 and ferric hydroxide FeOH3, which type of salt will obtain by incomplete neutralization? And options are option A neutral salt, option B acidic salt, option C basic salt, and option D mixed salt. If you have watched my video of salt and its type, you can easily answer this question. So let's see the correct answer. The correct answer is option C basic salt. Let's do the next question. Question number 9 is in the given reaction, ammonia is um, an equation is written NH2 negative plus H2O that forms through double uh, through reversible reaction NH3 and OH negative ion. So here you have to tell what is NH3 in this reaction. This NH3 you have to identify. So options are option A bronston acid, option B conjugate acid, option C bronston base and option D conjugate base. You can take your time. If you have seen my video of acid base theories, you can easily answer this question. So let's see the correct answer. The correct answer is option B, conjugate acid. Very good if you have given the same answer. Let's do the next question. Question number 10 is, which of the following species increases when acid dissolves in water? And options are A. Negative ions, B. Hydrate ion, C. Hydroxide ion, and D. Hydrogen ion. It is very simple question. So the correct answer is option D. Hydrogen ion. Because acids contain hydrogen ion. So whenever they dissolve in water, they break down into hydrogen ion or hydronium ion. Let's do the next question. Question number 11 is, which of the following equations is the best representation of a neutralization reaction? And options are option A, H2O plus CO2 forms H2CO3 which is the formula of carbonic acid. Option B is 2HBr plus Cl2 forms HCl and Br2. Option C is 4Na plus O2 forms 2Na2O and option D is 2HNO3 plus barium hydroxide BOH2 forms sodium nitrate NaNO3 2 plus 2H2. You can take your time to answer this question. It is related to neutralization reactions in which acids react with base. So the correct answer is option D. HNO3 which is an acid plus barium hydroxide which is a base and it forms salt and water 
NaNO3 is the salt and this is the formula of water. So this is the best representation of neutralization reaction. Next question is question number 12. All of the following properties are of acids except that they option A react with alkalis to form salt and water option B turn red litmus red uh, red litmus blue option C are good conductors of electricity and option D react with metals to produce hydrogen. This question is related to properties of acids. So the correct answer is option B turn red litmus blue because acids can turn blue litmus red. This is the property of base to turn red litmus paper into blue color. So let's do the next question now. Question number 13 is nitric acid reacts with sodium bisulfite by the following reaction. And the equation of the reaction is 2HNO3 uh, plus Na2SO3 which is the formula of sodium bisulfite and it forms 2NaNO3 plus X plus H2. Here you have to identify the product X over here in the equation. Let's see the options. Option A is sulfur trioxide gas. Option B is sulfur dioxide gas. Option C is hydrogen sulfide gas. And option D is hydrogen sulfate. You can take your time to solve this answer. It is related to chemical reactions of acids. If you have identified the correct answer, so let's see the correct answer is B, sulfur dioxide gas. Very well then if you have given the same answer. Let's do the next question. Question number 14 is, which of the following is the pOH of 0.01 mHNO3 nitric acid? And options are option A 10, option B 11, option C 12, option D 13. You can take your time to answer this question. Here you need to do very little calculations. Let's see the correct answer now. The correct answer is option C, 12. Because you have to find out the pOH value of this nitric acid. Nitric, from nitric acid, we can calculate the pH value. According to this concentration, pH value of nitric acid will be 2. And for calculating pOH value, we will use the Formula pH plus pOH is equals to 40. So answer will be 12. Let's do the next question number 15. All of the following are the examples of neutralization reactions except. And options are option A. Calcium hydroxide plus hydrogen chloride forms calcium chloride plus water. Option B is magnesium oxide plus hydrogen sulfate forms magnesium sulfate plus water. And option C is sodium carbonate plus hydrogen chloride forms sodium chloride plus carbon dioxide plus water. And last option is sodium plus nitric acid forms sodium nitrate and hydrogen gas. You can take your time to identify the correct option of this question. Now I'll tell you the correct answer of the question. Correct answer is option D. Sodium plus nitric acid forms sodium nitrate plus hydrogen gas. This because this is not an example of neutralization reaction. Here acid is not reacting with base. Whereas acid is reacting with the metal sodium. Let's do the next question. Question number 16 is. 50 ml of 0.45 m strontium hydroxide SROH2 are required to titrate a 0.75 m sulfuric acid H2SO4 sample. What is the volume of H2SO4 sulfuric acid? And options are option A 16 ml, option B 30 ml, option C 15 ml and option D 25 ml. This is a numerical based MCQ. So here you need to do some calculations. If you have done the calculation, 
Now I'll tell you the correct answer. So match your answer with this answer. The correct answer is B, 30 ml. Very well done if you have calculated the same answer. Let's do the next question. Question number 17 is, which statement is true at the point where hydrochloric acid is exactly neutralized by sodium hydroxide solution? And options are A. The concentration of hydrogen ions remain unchanged. B. The concentration of hydrogen ions is equal to the concentration of hydroxide ions. C. The concentration of hydrogen ions is greater than the concentration of hydroxide ions. And option D is the concentration of hydrogen ions is less than the concentration of hydroxide ions. It is also related to neutralization reactions. So, the correct answer is option B. The concentration of hydrogen ion is equal to concentration of hydroxide ion. Because in neutralization reaction, acid base converts into salt and water. So, concentration of hydrogen and hydroxide ions will become equal. Therefore, the pH of the reaction mixture will become neutral. Next question number 18 is the concept which does not explain nature of acid and base in non aqueous medium is option A is Arrhenius concept, option B is Bronston Lorry concept, option C is Lewis concept, option D is all of the above. This MCQ is related to acid base theories. If you have identified the correct option, so let's check it. Correct answer is option A, Arrhenius concept. Because Arrhenius concept is based on ionization of acids and bases in aqueous medium only. Next question number 19 is following are the examples of lowest acid except and options are option A hydrochloric acid, option B aluminium chloride, option C boron trifluoride and option D is ammonia. This is related to Lewis theory of acids and bases. If you know how to identify Lewis acids and Lewis bases you can easily get the answer of this MCQ. So let's check the correct answer. The correct answer is option D, ammonia. Because ammonia can easily donate lone pair of electron because its nitrogen atom which is the central atom of the molecule is electron rich species which is having one lone pair so it can easily donate that lone pair. Last question of the test is question number 20. Which acid reacts with iron sulfide? When acid reacts with iron sulfide, which gas will evolve? Option A is carbon dioxide gas. Option B is hydrogen gas. Option C is sulfur dioxide gas. And option D is hydrogen sulfide gas. You can take your time to answer this NCQ. If you have chosen the, your answer, let's check your answer. Now, correct answer I'll tell you, which is option B, hydrogen sulfide gas. So, that's all for the test. Congratulations if you have done all the MCQs correctly. But if you have made some mistakes, do watch my videos to clear your concept and work hard. If you like this test, Share with your friends and subscribe my channel for more videos related to chemistry. Thank you.